Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Boozer here. In today's video, I want to go over with you guys what I'm doing to get the Artac uh, 5 star soul from the Path of Vengeance as efficiently and quickly as possible. It's a week long event, so totally um, sp spread out this um, technique or spread out your farming throughout the entire week. But I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, it might not be applicable to everybody, but I think uh, some of the, the main things we'll, we can discuss uh, in this video will help you guys out. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So in this video, mainly I want to preface that you guys need to be using RSL Helper. That's going to really help you guys out in terms of speeding up um, this whole process. Um, so if anyone is not aware, we have this Path of Vengeance event. It's a week-long event, um, and it's centered around the main character, Artak. And the main prize is a five-star uh, split soul. Keep in mind, guys, that you guys cannot just get the five-star split soul and put it on your Artak unless your Artak is already four-star ascended. Um, so for most people that don't have that, um, you will be getting the two, three, four, and five. You have to get it all, okay? You have to get it all. Um, the other strategy is to skip the two star. Uh, it's possible to get the two star from the shop, but that takes, that's a bit of uncertainty, a bit of randomness. So some people might not be uh, willing to do that. Um, with that being said, the um, every other row besides the five star is actually, um, it's much cheaper than the single five star row. So getting up to the four star and calling it quits is uh, about half price. Um, so I quickly brought up the um, cost of the event. So if you want to get the full five star ascended um, ascension blessing, you have to pay. It's one hundred twenty one thousand points. Um, if you go for the four star only, it's sixty four thousand and a bit points. So it's almost half price. And if you add two books to the four star, it's going to be 95,000 points. You can save this row right here, the two star row, and that's 20, about 20,000 points. So it's roughly 100,000 points to get the four, the, the five star uh, split soul uh, if you skip the two star blessing. So that's going to be up to you to decide whether 20,000 points is worth guaranteeing you the two star and then starting starting off right away with the five star or you can wait um, and find something uh, in the marketplace. It might take a month, might take two months, but you'll get it and it'll be much cheaper in terms of value and uh, energy spent. So but that's going to be the breakdown for this event so anyways i want to go over what i'm doing for this event so as you can clearly see i already have some points stacked up so the way this event is uh kind of framed by plarium is basically we have to, we can get artifacts by dungeon diving we can um get points from dungeon diving we can get points from upgrading and we can get points from pulling uh soul stones so the most inefficient way is probably the um, dungeon diving, although it's probably the thing that we want to do the most because they got some really good dungeon events going on right now. Uh, the most efficient way is actually upgrading your artifacts. So upgrading your artifacts takes silver, it takes time, it takes artifacts. But the thing with this is that not everyone has is sitting on a pile of silver, and also we know that upcoming fusion is probably coming up next week. It's probably going to get announced sometime this week, and then it'll probably start sometime next week. And we all know that the artifact enhancement events in these um, fusion events have been going up. So I feel like Plarium's just strategically placing this event um, here to zap us all of our resources so that it makes the fusion harder to complete. With that being said, most of your points will be coming from upgrading event, upgrading artifacts in this event. Um, it's very difficult to achieve this um, the final uh, reward by doing dungeons only. I believe it's about sixty thousand energy, sixty thousand energy. Um, that's if you go all in on the dungeons. If you go all in on silver, um, let's go. Let's say you just use level sixteen items. If you go all in on silver, it's about three hundred to three hundred twenty million silver to complete every single Artaxel. 
So it's a heavy ask. It's a heavy penalty. Most people will not be able to do it, obviously. Um, but obviously, this is a pretty good event if you can do little bits and pieces of it, especially getting like the two star by itself. It's already a decent reward. If you already have a two star, it's not bad to go for a three or a four or even just getting some books along the way. It's just daily grinding for a week, so it's pretty easy. But in terms of what I'm doing right now, I'll show you guys. So I will preface that you guys do need RSL Helper um, to be able to do this, of course. So RSL Helper is a application, as you can clearly see here. I'm going to bring it up on my screen. So here's the application. Um, you can download this from Farbsoft's uh, Discord. He regularly updates it, him and his team. So it's super awesome. Um, I'll show you guys what it can do. So with this program, only PC only, I believe, you open up your account and then you can see all your items. You have an item inventory as well as a resource uh, tab here as well as a champion inventory. Um, so yeah, it's a really handy tool. It uh, helps you um, automate your runs so you can just do runs. It also helps you do food if you want to do that. But the best thing about this one, in my opinion, is your inventory management. So it allows you to find view your items at a glance, which is way nicer. It also helps you search for items way easier because it's uh, at this kind of, like with this kind of interface. So you can go ranks, great. It's just much easier, right? Accessories. Anyways, so when you have the artifact um, open here, let's go into in-game. Okay, so in-game. So we'll go in-game here. So you see I have 1,261. So if I select every one of my items, it says 1,265. But we don't want to select all of them, obviously. So let's filter out what we don't want. So in terms of what I'm planning to do is basically I will level up all my pieces of gear into level 12. And then of those best pieces, I will bring to 16. Um, I understand not everyone will have the silver or flexibility to do this. That is why this makes the most sense when it is the end of the event. So after a week of farming, you should have some gear that you want to level up. And in that moment, you will level it up this way, ideally, to save your save yourself time and you know sanity and stuff like that. Um, leveling up gear to 8 or 12 will give you um, a better return points wise per silver than leveling um, artifacts straight to 16. So ideally you want to level a whole ton of a, a whole ton of items up to eight or 12 before going up to 16, very seldomly going up to 16 because it's just the, the cost of silver versus the amount of points that you get. It's just more efficient to do eight and 12 as opposed to 16. So for example, here, I'm going to go through my entire stash. I leveled some gear up already, and you notice I have 36,000 points already stacked up from just the day of doing this. But you notice here, so I will search for all items that are less than level 4, which is basically the minimum that I would uh, upgrade to. So these are all the unrolled items on my account. So I don't have many, but I can show you what happened. So I'm going to level them all up. So I'll add them all to my queue. And I will level them all up to, let's say, 12. Okay, so enter 12 here. And then I will click this play button, like so. So this is kind of like the gist of what I will be doing. So basically, I set it up, set up the RSL helper to manage my inventory so that it auto, um, it will auto upgrade all the desired and queued up artifacts that I have to the desired uh, target level. Uh, I'll come back when everything is leveled up. I'll sort through uh, which items roll double or triple rolls. For example, this one's actually a pretty decent piece, triple HP, but no speed, but it's not that great, but maybe I keep it, I don't know. But anyways, I'll go through my gear afterwards and then I'll find the best pieces and I'll go through them and then I'll pump them up to 16. You can also do this with accessories, so going up to 8. Uh, I think with accessories, you'll probably be a little bit more strict on the silver spend because accessories are a bit more expensive. Um, so I would level up accessories till they are level 8. And then uh, I would 
see which accessories actually hit desired substats uh, and then go from there up to 12 and then 16. So this is a week long process. It will take um, people a long time to do this, especially if you're leveling individual gear. Um, but with RSL Helper, it helps a lot because you can just do this and walk away. You can do something else, um, which is a huge bonus, right? You don't have to sit here individually, click every item. However, you will be spending a ton of silver so that I acknowledge that not everyone will have uh, this level of silver to spend. Um, but in the end, leveling many items as opposed to few items, um, few items up to 16 and many items up to 8 and 12 saves you a ton of silver. So right now um, on my other account, I spent about um, 110 million silver, 120 million silver, and I'm halfway done. I'm more than halfway done. So factoring that in, I'm on pace to spend about 240 million, maybe, uh, silver, maybe less. Of course, less since I'll be dungeon grinding. Um, but that's a lot less than the estimated 300 to 320 million that you're expected to spend if you went all to level 16. So like I said, with this strategy, you're bound to save a ton of silver. Uh, you will be supplementing your total points with dungeon grinding. So it's not all just spending silver. And of course, you'll be generating silver with selling items and doing dungeons and so forth. Um, hopefully, you guys will be getting items that will be worth um, leveling up as you progress in the week. Um, so that's one thing. So what I would basically do is I would do a, a basically gear cleanse your stash. Make sure you have room. I'd say at least 100 pieces. And then after you do your, a bunch of dungeon grinding. So right now, it's Ice Golem for Triple Reflex. Go through your gear and then just start leveling and then just start removing gear level up your gear sell the gear and then repeat the dungeon grinding and then artifact uh, basically silver sinking uh, that that's if your goal is just to go for the artac um, that's questionable if going for the artac is even worth it depending on your account um, like you guys can see it's a very heavy heavy investment account um, you know not everyone will be able to do this uh, me um, I'm fortunate both like uh, both my accounts are free to play but I've been playing a long time and I've been resource hoarding for a long long time so um, I'm sitting on a ton of silver like you can see I have 800 million silver my other account started with a billion silver so you know it's not a huge issue for me and I feel like conver converting silver into a five-star blessing for a pretty top tier champion makes a lot of sense um, silver can be remade this five star blessing might never come for me to be honest because i might never um, um you know specifically um spend my hard-earned um immortal essence on a artac because artac is pve content generally you want blessings for pvp content so that's where i'm at on that uh, i'll show you guys quickly how to do the artifacts it's pretty similar I'm oh, sorry, I'll show you quickly how to do the um, accessories. So you change it here to accessories. Now you have a full in inventory of accessories. So these are my, when I set this right here, when I set this to level 0 to 3, that's basically meaning all the artifacts that are not leveled up at all. So you can clearly see I have 226. Um, that's a lot of points. All I have to do is level this up to 8, and then we'll go from there. I'll assess my gear, and you can easily assess your gear by doing this. I'll show you guys. So you go 0, 16, you see every piece of gear on your account. Um, I clear my queue, see every single piece of gear. So I'm going to go, you, there's very handy single roll, double roll, triple roll, quad rolls. Let's look at all the quad roll accessories on my account. Uh, quad roll what? Mm, quad flat HP, quad HP percentage. I have one quad flat attack, quad attack, none quad flat defense, quad defense, quad speed, no quad speed, quad accuracy, none quad resistance, none. Okay, that's so basically I'm, I, I don't have anything, <laughs> but uh, let's look at triple, triple. I got triples, I got triples. Okay, there we go, triple speed. I got a couple triple speeds. Come on, I got a triple, couple triple speed. What about triple HP? I got one. Okay, triple attack. I got one. So there you go, right? Example. There you go. Triple resistance, triple accuracy. Yeah, I got some. I got some, guys. I got some. Anyways, um, so that's kind of how you like sort through your gear. So when you're done, like let's say I level stuff to eight. Uh, so let's say I, I, I do stuff to eight. Okay, let's do that. 
So I do stuff to eight. Um, I'll I'll do it all. I'll do it all. Uh, do everything up to eight, and then we'll see what happens. So let's go. I click play, and now it's gonna start searching stuff. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to let the game run for a little bit, and then uh, we'll be back when it's all done, and I'll show you guys how I filter, and then move on from that. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've been gone for about 30 minutes, and it looks like, not too sure how many pieces we went through, maybe like 100 pieces. So we have about 100 pieces rolled up to 8. I'm going to stop it right there, uh, just because it was taking too long. So, um, But we can go through how I filter some of these uh, some of these items so let's clear this so I'm gonna look at level 8 so scroll up to level 8 so these are all the items at level 8 or 0 to 8 sorry this includes the um, includes the unrolled stuff so we have a total of 900 items uh, up to level 8 so these are all items you can take to level 12 if you wanted to but that's gonna cost a lot of silver so what we're gonna do is basically filter them out by uh, basically quality at this point so I go for double rolls and I just look for double rolls uh, sorry I just look for double rolls to match the um, whatever the main stat is so if I'm going for flat HP like ring or uh, amulet or banner then I want HP percentage so these are the double rolls HP percentage with the flat HP so for example these might be good candidates to roll to 12 for example like these three or these six sorry actually all these eight just because these rare items uh, you're not gonna get too much more value from rolling them to 12 but of course you're gonna keep these ones just in case it's kinda like backup so we can roll these to 12 and uh, we'll see how lucky we get so this is kind of what I'm going to be doing. So I pick the quality items, roll them to 12, and then move on. Oh, and I got a lucky triple right here. So, and if um, if we have a legendary that tripled up, then we might go for the 16, go for the quad. Um, I rolled a lot of quads actually yesterday on my alt account. Uh, quad a set, quad artifacts, not accessories though. But um, yeah, I felt like, you know, 25% to hit the quad, you know, and actually hitting a couple actually feels pretty good. But in this case, so this is what uh, I would do after rolling most of my gear to 8. So I will continue to do that for the rest of the day. Uh, roll my gear to 8. Obviously, any new gear that you farm, you roll to 8 uh, for accessories. And then for gear, I basically just roll it to 12. Um, just because, yeah, accessories are a bit more expensive. So anyways... This is kind of the strategy I'm taking right now. It definitely saves you some time away from the desk, uh, away from your computer. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see, any more? No more? That's it. Okay, yeah. Oh, one more. Sorry. Let's stop there. Okay, not too lucky on that one. All right, let's stop there. So, I spent about 10 million silver so far. Um maybe less maybe like nine but we already made a couple thousand um couple thousand coins not too sure how much we made i think we made like five thousand five thousand six thousand coins roughly so yeah keep in mind accessories are more expensive so if you have more gear uh if we did more gear rolling which we would probably end up doing it would just be cheaper but yeah Anyways, I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Remember, you guys have to use the RSL helper to do this. And then, uh, obviously, it will be faster because it takes less time for you to actively be at the desk uh, on your computer. But obviously, it's still going to take some time to roll that much gear up. Uh, unfortunately, there's no super fast way to do that. Um, and, yeah, the absolute fastest way is to roll all your gear to 16 and then just call it a day. You'll be spending a ton more silver, but this way, at least you can... Be passively gaining points while conserving your silver the best you can. It's still going to cost a ton of ton of resources, so make sure you guys manage your accounts um, accordingly. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if it helped. Um, and yeah, best of luck on this RTAC uh, event if you guys are going for it. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll talk again soon. So I'll see you guys in the next video.